Hiya fellas, I'm Jackson and today we're going to be doing a, right, a Lego game tier list and uh, the only thing I want to say before the video starts is I'm in a real close to 100 subscribers, about 92 right now if you want to subscribe, it mean the world to me, I'd really, really appreciate it and uh, yeah, let's just get right into it, Lego Ninjago, that's going straight in there Lego Ninjago, that's going straight in there Lego, Nin Lego Bionicle, that's going straight in there, I'm sorry folks <laughs> I have not played any of those three, nor have I ever seen gameplay of them. I don't know anything about them. Lego Marvel Superheroes. Now that, this is a classic. If you don't love this game, actually, wait. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I'm thinking, is that A or S tier? No, no, that's an easy S tier. That's got to be S. There's no world where that's not S. It's so good. If you haven't, it's it's fantastic. It's it's far better than this one. Um, Lego Marvel Superheroes One is just so so much fun. I've completed the game two hundred percent multiple times over over the years. It was um, I remember the look on my face when I was a kid when I first got it from GameStop. Oh my god, it's it was so good. Play it if you haven't. Lego Marvel Avengers. I actually just finished this one to one hundred percent recently. It's not D. That's a tough one. Um, it's it's definitely not A, but it's also not D. I'm, I'm thinking B or C because I did not really enjoy it much at all. I don't think the campaign is good. The character roster is okay. Uh... I'll go ahead and put in B, and that's being really generous. I, I honestly should put it like a C plus maybe, <laughs> but that's the best they're going to get. Now, because I see the next one, hang on a second. Straight in. Straight in. I hate this game. I actually hate it. I hate it so much. Lego Batman Three sucks. I'll never say it. it I'll, I'll never say it's good. So help me God, never. This game sucks. If you've played it, you know why. Lego Batman Two is perfect. Yeah, spoiler. Lego Batman Two is going to an S. Lego Batman Two is so good. The story is perfect. A classic team up of Lex Luthor and the Joker was not to love there. And then you got the, uh, the the hub world. The hub world is the best part. It's just Gotham City. It's so good. They perfected it. And then less is more. It's just less is more. They overcomplicated things. They took it to space. They added in all this dimension world stuff that is so done to death. I hate it. I hate this game. It's not fun. I And you know what the worst part is? I completed it 100%. I don't know why I did to myself. I did not enjoy a second of it. Anyway, Lego Batman the video game, easy S tier. I am currently doing a playthrough of this. Not while I'm recording, obviously, but in my spare time. it's. I just had to revisit it all these years later because, I mean, it's a classic. It's so good. It's an absolute classic, and I love it dearly. Um, I mean... It's simple. It's really, really simple, as all the PS2 uh, era games are. But I mean, it's just so much fun. It's it. It's just got that intangible feel to it that the uh, that the earlier ones do, like the, like the original Lego Indiana Jones, the first one, and the uh, first Lego Star Wars. Oh my god, you just you can't beat it. You really can't. It's so good. It's easily one of my favorites. There are three Lego Ninjago games. I did not make this tier list. I, yeah, that's, uh, sorry. I've never heard of it, nor have I played it. Uh, this, okay, so I was going to say never played for the bottom tier, but um, I thought I would include things I know a bit about and watch people play, like watch Let's Plays of. This one, I'm going to have to give it a C. From what I've seen. Now, what I've seen is not much, but what I have seen, I think it looks average. I think it looks okay. It's not terrible. It's not great. I think it's I think it fits perfectly in C. 
Now, if I played the game, maybe you'd be S, maybe you'd be F. That's a very um, hard thing to say. I probably should put in, don't know anything about, but I want to keep this to a minimum because I hate putting them in this tier because it kind of ruins the point of the list. Lego Dimensions. Absolutely easy F. I, I know that some people say it's like the best Lego game ever made because there's so much content. You, the, the microtransaction thing is... No. It, yeah, I can't. I can't. Un, I, no. Nope. Can't do it. I mean, this is one also that I have never played. Never want to. It's. I think it's really stupid how they just... You, you have to buy so many things. I, I think someone did the math and it's like over $1,000 to get all the content out of the game. That's come on that's really really stupid why do they do that well i mean i, mean, I know why it's because they like money but i mean it's the only game like this to my to my understanding there like i know there's some with like dlcs but not to this extent where it costs you so much real world money to get the full experience it's ridiculous lego harry potter five through seven that's kind of tough. I love the original uh, one to four. This one, uh, I really did not enjoy it, like almost at all. But it wasn't bad. I just didn't personally enjoy it. The, the thing is, I didn't. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of Harry Potter, like at all. Not really my thing. If it is, if it's yours, that's that's good for you. But it's really not my thing. I'm thinking C or D. It's not F. It, it's definitely not there. But it's not good. It's not B or A. It's either average or slightly below average. Hmm. I mean, you know, one okay. One thing that does kind of remind me of this game is that is it technically has a massive character roster, but it's really not because there's like. 20 different Harry Potters that have a different shirt on. It's That's always been kind of stupid. because I, I mean, that's one of my favorite parts about Lego games, and I think it's probably yours, too. One of them is getting the getting all the characters, and this, I mean, along with 1 to 4, just kind of makes that stupid. Um, I don't, I just, I don't know. It just doesn't. I mean, I'm, I, you know, I'm just always gonna be biased towards the earlier Lego games because I think they're better before they overcomplicated things and just kept it simple. But I'll put it in C. It's not. It's not. I wouldn't say it's below average. I would say it's like perfectly average. Honestly, yeah. This one. Now I've never played this. I've seen. I've seen it. A lot of people say it's terrible. A lot of people say it's extremely underrated. Based solely off what I've seen, which like um, like uh, Lego Marvel uh, or Lego DC villains is very little, but what what I have seen, I'm gonna give it a C tier. I think it fits nicely, being average. I don't think it's anywhere near this bad boy, but uh, it doesn't look like it doesn't hold its own by by itself because i also one thing i do kind of appreciate and kind of hate at the same time is how they switch things up with the uh the level design and, and like um both like from the original game and also just from the movies they they changed a lot of things for seemingly no reason but i kind of like that because it offers more originality because it's not just the first game here with another movie tacked on with a, a couple more levels actually did something new with it and i kind of appreciate that because it would be kind of stupid if they just re-released it as like a remaster with one more movie um i'm gonna leave it at c tier once again i would have to play it maybe if i played it it would go into s who who knows that's really hard to say but uh but i've seen a good amount i think it's average looking no you know i'm gonna put it in b scratch that go to b because I said so. Lego Indiana Jones 1, easy S. Not a doubt in my mind. If you don't think so, you're a loser. This was... I want to say maybe the first video game I ever really played. At least I think it was on the PS2. Which I got for Christmas one year when I was really little. Man, me and my brother have a long history with this game. 
we a few years ago we revisited and, and played it all to 100 percent again and it was so much fun some of the best uh family bonding i've had with him ever and um i remember when we were younger we got a ps2 for christmas and um <laughs> my uh uh we we didn't get the memory card with it but we got this game so for a very long time because we didn't, you know, it, this was like before kids have money and can go and buy a memory card themselves or even know that they can. So um, while we were continuously begging our mom to get us a memory card, we just were trying over and over on school nights to uh, uh, 100% this game in one sitting because we couldn't save our progress. We didn't have the memory card. And I remember that the only thing standing in our way would be uh, we would get home from school, play it all day, and then we would hear the dreaded phrase, it's time for bed, because we were that young. And, and we would have to turn it off, and oh my god, good times, good times. This game is a masterpiece. It's so much fun. That is, I'll admit it's a lot of nostalgia, but it is also just a really, really fun, well-designed game, and I love it dearly. I go Jurassic World. This, this is another one I have not played, but I've seen a decent amount of. It kind of looks like it sucks to me. Now, once again, I would need to play it, but I'm going to put in D tier. I don't think it looks remotely good. It's not one of those things where I really ever want to even play. I, I, I don't know. It just it doesn't look good, if you ask me. I mean... Feel free to like comment what you think about this, whether you're agreeing with me or not. Maybe it's S tier for you. Maybe it's F. It doesn't look enjoyable at all. I, I, I'm honestly amazed that they made a Lego game out of that franchise because it's, it doesn't even fit really. It feels like such an outlier to this whole list where like Jurassic World that just. Like, why did they make a Lego game of that? That's that's not right. That's stupid. That's really, really stupid. I don't know why they did it. Let's see. We got Lego Lord of the Rings next. So you're gonna be, you're all gonna be really mad at me for this, but I've never played this one either. And you know what you're gonna be even more angry about? Never watched Lord of the Rings. Not in my life. So. Uh, okay, I don't want to make anyone exceedingly angry because I've heard that this is one of the best. So I'm just going to put it here before I accidentally put it somewhere it's not supposed to be and gets my channel deleted or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry, guys. Like, I've seen a little bit of it. It looks cool. It is one I've been meaning to pick up from a, from a, from like an old game store sometime, but I mean... I haven't, and I, I really do want to play it, actually, but I have not currently. This one, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. I hate to put it there. I hate using this tier for anything, but it just, it does not look good. Or, no, I, wait, no, I'm sorry. That, that's not what I meant to say. It's just, it, I just, I just, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen gameplay of it. I haven't played it myself. I, I, I couldn't tell you. This one. S absolutely 100% S. If you think it's less than S, you're stupid. This game is so good. It's so much fun. Try it. It's it's it just harkens back to the extreme simplicity. More or le uh, less is more. Less is more. It really is. This barely even has a hub world. It it does, but barely. But, and, oh, well, okay, also, I need to mention, I just do, I, I love the movies, except for Five. Five's not real. Um, controversial opinion, I really liked On Stranger Tides. I know there are, like, a lot of flaws, but I enjoyed it. And, uh, and I think this is one of, it is another one of my personal favorites ever. Like, if I were organizing these in order in S tier, it'd be near the top. Um, it, it's, it's a really good game. I just, I mean... You can't go wrong with the singing, dancing Jack Sparrow that you get only with a cheat code that you would never know about unless you looked it up. I, I don't even know how people found it. Probably looking in the game's code. And I, that's just the cherry on top of this game, that there's an actual secret character where it plays 
funny little pirate music when you walk around. I love it so much. It, it it's it's really simple. It's got a small roster, just the levels, no real hub world, but it's just so much fun. And it, and it's such a faithful recreation of the movies. And we can also be happy that this came out before um, Dead Men Tell No Tales, so that that uh, movie is not in the game because that movie sucks and it's not real as far as I'm concerned. Lego Harry Potter 1 to 4. I'm tempted to put an S, but I, like I said before, I'm not a big fan of Harry Potter, but I really do like this game a lot. Can you see a trend here that I don't really like more of the recent ones? Yeah. This one's going in A tier for me. I don't think it's S worthy because, once again, just not a big fan of Harry Potter, but it is a fantastic game. Um, and I really, really enjoy it. I think it's way better than 5 to 7. Um, just because it keeps things more simple. It's it's just got that old Lego, older Lego game feel to it that you just can't, you can't even describe. It's just, it just got that feeling that if you've played enough Lego games that like, you know, the, uh, the difference between one for like the PS2 compared to one for like the PS4 or five, or uh, if you're an Xbox guy, I don't know what, uh, whatever. I, I always grew up with PlayStation personally. Um, Lego like Star Wars two. Well, this is probably going to go in the same spot as uh, one and the complete saga if they're on here somewhere. Oh, yep, there they are. I see. And um, the question is, where should they go? Just kidding. S, I I'm messing with you. There's no debate about that. This is a fantastic game, and you know, let me just get this out of the way. Yeah, they're they're both going in S. I mean, there's I, there's no debate in my mind there. I mean, it's the first. It's one of the best. It's like, I mean, you, you cannot go wrong with the original Lego Star Wars games. I'm not sure if the complete saga is on here. Oh, yep, there it is. All right, let me just uh, bring that up. There we go. Nice little snug family. Um, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with these three. I love them so much. Um... You know, for the longest time, I thought it was a Mandela effect thing that there was like a a Yoda chair thing that he would manifest out of nowhere. And because I know in the complete saga, when you try and run as Yoda, he just pulls out his cane, or, or no, or like he just starts hopping along with his cane. But I remember when I was younger, um, when you tried to uh, go faster as Yoda, he would pull out this like hover chair thing. I thought it was just the Mandela effect, but then I realized that uh, either that's just in um, uh, the uh, like the non-complete saga versions, or maybe it was only on the DS because I remember I had this game on the DS, and that's what I remember it from. So, someone actually, if you could tell me uh, what the deal is with that weird y uh, Yoda floaty chair thing, I'd appreciate that a lot because I don't really know. Let's see here. Oh, Lego Star Wars 3. Oh my god, this game is so good. And actually, you know, here's a fun little debate we're going to have. Which is better? Because this is going straight in... Oh, I actually put an F. It's going straight in S. There's no debate there. Once again, easy S. Um, which is better? Oh, that's a tough question. The Complete Saga or Star Wars 3? That's actually really tough. Because I, I love both so much. Oh my god, I think I just might have to say they're tied outright. It's it's such a good it's such a good game. And it's so I'm so happy they made it out of the Clone Wars instead of just leaving it at the complete saga and then you know, there's the new ones like The Force Awakens and uh the Skywalker saga, but spoiler alert, I've never played those. And this is just so good. I mean the the Clone Wars is such a good show. I've been meaning to rewatch it again after all these years. Um it's such a good recreation in like you know classic Lego game form. And it's got all the side missions about like uh, the uh, little wars on the planet, planets or whatever. And it, yeah, it's so good. I go the Incredibles. I know a this is one I uh, again that I know a little bit about, but I don't. I've never played it, but I have seen a bit of it. It looks terrible i i this is one that i have not played 
and I have no intention to ever. But I also can't bring myself to quite put it in F with these two because I despise both of these games. I'm going to put it in D tier. I should put it here. I, I should. But uh, I don't want to. So there's that. Lego Worlds. This is another one I've never played, but I have actually seen a fair amount of this time. It's just, you know, it's just a sandbox game for that because I, I feel like Lego games desperately need one that is just a sandbox because that's what Lego is in real life. Um, I think that is going to go in a solid. Uh, put it in B tier. I don't think it's up there with the greats of S and A, but it's it's above average, I'd say. If we're if we're considering C dead average, I think yeah, I think it's above average. I think it's a really cool concept, and also the fact that they included the Thunder Driller from uh, um, Power Miners as a playable vehicle that you can use to drill out the Earth is. I mean, that gives it a lot of points for me because that's maybe my all-time favorite Lego set. I, I love it so much. Lego Batman 2. Oh, yep. Okay. Let's put it right next to it. Easy S. So good. Like I said before, near the start of this video, perfect game. Perfect. I, well, no, actually. There's one thing that would make it perfect. It, it's currently like a 9.5 out of 10 for me. The only thing I don't like is, and and you you know what you know it's coming if you play the game. The hub world flight is the worst ever, which is sort of understandable because it was the first ever open world hub world in Lego games. It was also the first one with voice acting, but it was the first open hub world, and uh, they didn't really have the flight mechanics down, and it is abysmal. It is so bad. It's it is impossible to control it. Oh my god, it's so bad. It, the, the flight is terrible. And and they made it, and they really uh, stepped it up with LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. I, I believe is when that was fixed. But yeah, in LEGO Batman 2, the flight is really, really bad. But yeah, it's a, it's a really good game. That like I, I mean, I would go into the reasons, but I already said them all earlier. So I'm not going to bore you. Lego City Undercover, sorry. Lego City Undercover again, sorry. Oh, dear God, my sister had this game growing up. I'm not going to even elaborate on that. That's where it's going. Lego Chima, the, the most failed theme ever. Um... You know, I think it's so funny how they tried to make Chima replace Ninjago, but then everyone was like, we love Ninjago, don't get rid of it. And then they were like, okay, and then just scrap Chima. Chima was supposed to be the like the spiritual successor to Ninjago, and then everyone hated it compared to Ninjago because they're like, yeah, we, we, we like Ninjago. There's nothing wrong with it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, now, the thing is, I have not played this game. So what's going here? I know nothing about it. This one is also Chima. It's going there. I'm sorry. Let's see. Is that the Force Awakens? Yeah. Yeah. It's going right there. Nice and snug. Nice and snug fit. I'm not going to elaborate. I hate it. I hate it. I hate the new movies. Honestly, it's not even the worst game. But... The movies are so bad that the Disney Star Wars movies suck so much that I can't bring myself to put it any higher. That like that would be like if they made a Lego Pirates of the Caribbean game that's still good, but it's just the Silent Mary movie or Silent Mary movie, uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Yeah, I like yeah, that. That would that would be F. It, these the movies just so bad. I hate it. Truly hate it. Lego The Hobbit. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, I don't want to piss anyone off again. <laughs> the Lego movie video game. Let's see here. Oh boy. That is, I mean, it's not bad from what I remember. I played this years and years and years and years ago with my friend um, and barely remember it, but I remember it being good. Nothing spectacular, but not bad. Um, I'm going to put that in B tier. I really don't remember much about it, but I remember liking it. If I played it uh, now, I might like it less. I might like it more. Who knows? 
The movie's super good, though. I remember that much. I definitely remember the movie very fondly. But yeah, I think that fits nicely in B tier. I think I think it was above above average. I go Ninjago once again. Now this one, unlike the other Ninjago games, I have actually seen a fair amount of gameplay for. Um, I think it's, I think it's painfully average. It's one of those really, really average ones. That's just you can't. You can't bring yourself to put it below or above average. This wouldn't even be like a C minus or C plus. It's just a flat C, I would say. It's just, I mean, it's okay. It's not terrible, but um, I don't know. It's it's okay. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the combat. I think it's kind of stupid, but it's also kind of cool at the same time. I don't know. I'm going to continue before I bore myself and you. Lego Movie 2. Sorry. And we have the Skywalker Saga. Hold on, let me just... Uh, it's not going there, but let me just... There we go. Um, this is another one I have not played, but I have seen a good amount of, and my friend has shown me a lot of. Uh, I don't... I don't know how to feel about this one. I really don't know how to feel exactly. Because I kind of hate it. I I was about to say I kind of love it as well, but there's really no part of me that loves this game. Yeah, there's there's part of me that hates it, and there's part of me that thinks it's kind of like, okay, that was kind of cool. Because it throws less is more out the window. This is, you know, one of the most, like, uh, uh, hyper detailed, like most stuff in it, content wise, uh, Lego games ever. There's so much stuff, and I don't know if it's good because it's definitely, in my in my humble opinion, not as it is not as good as the uh the Skywalker. Or, I'm sorry, the uh, Complete Saga or three, but. I don't know where to put it. I'm going to probably piss off a lot of people no matter where I put it. If, in, if I put it in S, people are going to get angry at me. If I put it in F, people are going to get angry at me. <laughs> um, I'm thinking D. From what I've seen and what I've been told and then the, the amount that I've watched... It does not look fun. It is not a game I would ever spend my money on. I would probably not play it if it was free. I'm going to put it in D tier. I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah. There. It fits nicely. It's it's okay. It's average. I'll not burn a copy of it if I had to. And, uh, yeah, there's my tier, there's my tier list. I'm sorry that so many had to go down here, but I have not played nearly all the Lego games out there. And, um, I genuinely didn't know there was a, there was a Bionicle game. It's for the DS, and that's probably why, because I had a DS for a very short amount of time before I accidentally broke it as a kid. Um, but yeah, here's my full list. These are the GOATs, in my opinion. I mean, these three are the same game, so the list is a bit cluttered. But, uh, I mean... Yeah, that's the whole video. If you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, you have a